Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Sudo V65. It's a 65% pre-built aluminum keyboard that's compatible with VIA and has RGB and Bluetooth support. The package comes included with lots of nice protection and everything is separated to keep parts away from the keyboard itself and so that it doesn't scratch. It has a manual included which is very detailed and lets you know how to do things like pairing with Bluetooth or connecting through VIA. It also has the keyboard itself, extra parts, a tool to open up the keyboard, and a basic Type-C cable that honestly I would probably throw out, but if you need it in a pinch, it's definitely there for you. Aside from that, the keyboard on first impression is heavy, great quality, and I didn't see any imperfections with the keyboard itself or the paint. At first, I didn't like the curves it had on the keyboard, but over time, I have come to appreciate the design as a whole, and the back itself is sleek, the side view is different from your average traditional keyboard, and the keycaps and switches that come with it are more than you can ask for. The keyboard is listed for $129 on Apple Maker's website, and it's a hot swappable 5-pin keyboard that has a gasket mount design, which is very, very flexible. And the plate itself is PC, allowing for more flex, making this a very nice typing experience. It's super soft, and they also have porn foam sound dampening in between, so you get a nice, muted, subdued sound. The design of the keyboard gives a nice mix between modern and retro, and I absolutely love the off-white color it gives off. In my opinion, the keycaps are a little thin, but it isn't something I would go changing out right away, because instead, I would use this keyboard for what it is, and before you change anything out, I would say just try it out as it is before you even decide to do anything like that. The switches themselves are linear and have a 47 gram operating force with nylon housing and palm stems and on the plus side of everything on top of that, it's factory lubed which is amazing because it's barely even scratchy. I'm not the biggest fan of the porn foam in between but everything else besides that, like the PC plate, is a really great combo to do with anything you want to do, whether it be tactile or linear, and you don't really need to mod this keyboard, it's already pretty modded for you. What I really liked about the keyboard is that the switch to go from wired to wireless, which is the Bluetooth, is actually really nice. It's nice and firm, and the switch itself is also aluminum. I won't go over the functions because it's on the manual, but to be honest, this keyboard is a great package for 129. Back then, 129 would barely get you a keyboard that's aluminum, and this comes as a whole package. That's crazy. The only nitpicky thing I have to say is the stabilizers are somewhat unevenly lubed. For example, this enter key is not that lubed compared to the backspace. But some more lube will just fix that right up. This keyboard is great, and I really recommend it. As always, until next time.